Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about component dialog, AEM component dialog. So before we move on, let me ask you a question. What is the most important building block of your AEM website? Without any discussion, you would say AEM component. And you are correct. AEM component is most important building block of any AEM website. But when we talk about AEM component, we'll talk about Sling model for back end, we talk about Sightly for the rendering language or any other language if you are using and client libraries for styling. But we never talk about AEM component dialog. So dialog is most important part of your AEM component. So can you think of AEM component without dialog? Can you reuse your component AEM component without dialog? Answer is no. Without dialog, your AEM component is just a piece of code which you cannot reuse on multiple pages. So that's why as part of this tutorial, we'll talk about AEM component dialog. Now, how do we create component dialog? So remember the tutorial where I explained sling resource type and sling super resource type property. Those properties are very important and you will be using those throughout your AEM learning. So how to create so we create a node an structure type of node cq colon dialog the name of this node should be this and we add a property sling resource type and we point this property to this component right yes this is the component now my this one html which will be pop up when you added this component is ready but it won't have any any fields or components i would use fields here now you will create other node other nested node create other property this node name of node can be anything let's say you are creating for the first name create any node of unstructured type and again add a property sling colon resource type and point this to this component yes this is the component and which will be rendered in this text field so here in context of dialog i will use the word or the term fields okay keep in mind but this is a actual component let's say i need to create three fields two text fields and one checkbox so i'll create three nodes here a structure type of node and i'll add a property sling colon resource type and i will point to a particular component to render a specific type of field as i already explained earlier this property is used to find either a script or a servlet so in that case this property will point to this component where there is a script available to render a text field same way for the other kind of fields in between of these nodes there are other unstructured type of node but those node won't point to any component or anywhere right those are just to maintain a hierarchy we'll see this and demo so that way you can create dialogue now in aem dialogue you have two type of fields or you would say two type of components i will i will use the fewer term fields here okay parent you always have cq dialog now there's a two type container type or actual field container type of those kind of fields which actually hold other fields right which actually hold other elements other components and these are container tabs fixed column and well there may be uh, others as well i'm just mentioning most commonly used these holds other fields now others are actual field where you put actual data for the component this can be text field select checkbox file upload and number of others available so first kind of these this hold the second type of fields right let's say you have a container inside container you can hold any number of these we'll see in demo now in AEM, there are two type of components or field available. One is foundation, another one is coral foundation. Both still work as of today. But as of now, we use coral foundation components. So try to use coral foundation. If you already have old projects, you might see the fields used from this foundation components. We'll see where those are. So what we will learn as part of this tutorial and next few tutorials how to create dialogue dynamically populate data and field 
we'll see how you can dynamically fill in data in multiple I, multiple feeds let's say you have drop down you have check boxes inside drop down you can see what are the items you must have those can be static those can be dynamically loaded we'll see most common scenarios what you will be using in your day-to-day -day activities day-to-day -day work event and actions right let's say you click on something take example of drop down you choose one item that is the action what you want to happen on that action that we'll see let's say you have check boxes based on check box if you want to perform a specific action in dialogue let's say you want to hide something you want to show something you want to add a ajax call and from ajax call you want to create some other fields so these are called event and action so we'll see most common use cases like hide and show and then we'll see the field validation obviously you have a dialogue but you might need validation so we'll see the validation how you write validation in a standard way so as part of few tutorials we'll see this right now there is a documentation available of coral foundation this is the documentation please go back and check this documentation i will explain in coming tutorial how to use that documentation to understand how field works this is really important and i will be using this documentation a lot to explain the fields we'll talk about these dialog fields in detail using this documentation now one more important thing whatever the script you will be writing let's say you were writing some script in jquery so you will be writing the, this script jquery inside a client library that's the only standard way when where you write a javascript or jquery if you want to load that javascript or client library only for a particular dialogue and only when this dialogue is open so for that scenario we'll use a additional property called extra client libs and will add this at a dialogue so in that case if we load this client library in this way this client library will load only and only for that dialogue and when the dialogue is open now let's see a quick demo how we create a dialogue i'll show you very simple dialogue and in coming tutorials we'll discuss further what i have already explained here so to show you dialogue, I created a component. Let's say component dialogue and I created a dialogue for it. First, let's see the dialogue. So if I open, I add it, there is a dialogue open here. So you will see here one drop down. And if you see here one drop down and you will see this is a container. I'll show you the node structure. This is container. Again, this is also a container right so i'm using four containers here this is also container and same way the third container and fourth container so these are container inside containers as i as i already explained container are the fields which hold other fields so these containers this is first container and this container is holding this text field right and this another text field right so and inside container you see the dark screen you the gray gray uh, screen this is a wall right well so what we have we have container then well then two fields here inside the same way the other containers so now let's see at the node structure how we created this dialogue okay so now you will see here this is my component and inside this i created a cq colon dialogue if you see here the property if i would say this property here so this property, this property is referring to what I have explained. So once this property is referred to this component, this entire thing is rendered. So if you see here from this dialogue, this entire, entire dialogue is rendering blank dialogue means without any fields. Now inside this dialogue, you have to create fields. You have to add fields. So now inside dialog, I created another anti unstructured type content. If you see, it's an anti unstructured and what I'm resource type here is, if you see here, let me scroll a bit. The resource type is my container. So you see the container, right? It now this container. So now this is the parent container, which actually holding all other fields. So inside this container, 
what I created. Now the items, it doesn't have any resource type. So this items is used to maintain hierarchy. Now again, tabs. So here what I'm saying, I'm creating tabs here. So if you see here tabs, this, this is actually referring to this tab because now I have only one tab. So this, that's why you see only one tab. Tab is also holding other components, other fields. So right now we did not create any specific field. We are just creating container type of fields. First we had container means dialogue, then container, then tabs. So this define tabs. Okay. So because if you see here inside this tabs, items, items also again does not contain anything. Now items is here to maintain hierarchy it will hold your tabs right you cannot straight away add tabs here first you say items to hold my tabs now again if you see here it is a container again author info is a container if you see here so what i'm saying here create tab inside tab these my items mean multiple tabs here what i'm saying this is my tab here right means tab i'm creating tab but my item is means is container so when you create tab you have to create containers i'll talk about if you create one container here and in parallel if you create one more container you will be creating one more tab here but because i have only one here you can understand hierarchy so if you see the information in one here whatever i wrote here this is available here so this is my tab but i'm containing only one tab here so further if i expand here so you will see items right this item again does not contain anything this, this is just to maintain my hierarchy here i have this fixed column so i'm creating columns right fixed column i'll explain these don't worry about it it's not mandatory to create fixed columns you can straight away create your fields right but to maintain hierarchy as per any you can have so fixed column again this hold your other fields if i go further you will say nothing here this is again to maintain hierarchy column. If you see the again container, so I had, I'm still maintaining hierarchy, right? I'm still did not add any fields. I'm just keep adding the containers to maintain my hierarchy. Now inside this container, I'd say items just to maintain hierarchy. Now, if you see here authors, this is my drop down. Now I will started adding actual fields. This is my drop down. Even if you see here, if I show you here, this, this is one, right? This is, and the resource type is also, if further I move, this resource type is to my select component. So this select component, which is there in my libs, is rendering this one, right? Again, how to render and all, how to create this, we talk about later in coming tutorials. If I go further, you see the author one. Author one is again a container. The first one, this one, this one was my field and again this is container so what for author one i'm creating a container here right inside this again to hold my these items again this is a heading so heading is also a component to add this heading if you see here to add this heading this heading so i created a, again field this is a heading field heading field or heading component which actually render this heading now Below this, we have a well. This well is also hold component. But when, when you want a gray background, you can use this well. Again, this is the items. And inside these items, if you further go, you will see the first name, right? Now, this first name is my actual field, like it was this authors. So, if you see here, my resource type. So, you will see my this node, actually, this node is rendering this field right and if you see the property here resource type and it's it's referring or pointing to my this text field components so that's how you create am component dialog and same for others as well if you go further this is my second container and this is further my third container same way i structured these fields so if you come here and let me maximize this let me close this okay and if you see, this is my first container, second container, and these are four container. And in different container, I'm using different fields. So I will push this code to my Git. You can take this code from there. But I'll talk about a lot of scenarios, many scenarios. At end of all these tutorial, I'll push this 
code or the component to get i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you